his not necessarily figurative language, but the way he put things in order, whether chronologically or he spread it out for it to come back into play, it helped us form a way of thinking to think outside of our regular thought process. It enhanced the way we think about certain objects, statements, and the reasoning behind certain things. Like it gave us an alternative. Ah, you know what, what I appreciated so much about Mr. Daughtry and the way that he presented himself was, you know, that he is he's squarely an academic, right? His word choice and his diction were welcome. And I think it's important for my students to see a black male presented in this way, um, in a way to where he's well-spoken, he's articulate, he's creative. How can I put this? It's like it gives us a way to say what we're really thinking in a way. Like, instead of beating around the bus, we get straight to the point. Or it's like you, how he used figurative language. Like, he used the, like different language, but it meant something. That's how I say it. It'll help us with our writing. And then there's also, um, and I'm, I'm borrowing from my students, but there's also that, that um, relatability. So a lot of people, when they tell us stuff, they can't directly relate, they just say it. But he could relate because he was in IB, he's a black student, so he understands the problems we go through. Hey. He, he definitely was a person who could, was very relatable, so the stories were, they hit, they hit harder, no, I said harder. They hit more of a emotional tone than psychological. And he code switches in a way that's so seamless um, that it shows them a multiplicity of ways that they can exist in the world, right? But I say I'm not too into poetry because I like direct meaning, but when he, like, when he analyzed it, it's like it is a direct meaning. You just got to think about it. So he opened our eyes up to like a lot more of knowing stuff about the flag, about black history and culture. So yeah, I think he's pretty dope and he should come back. You just got to think about it.